Let's find our sit bones, drop down. Uh, take a minute to just move around in that pelvic bowl a little bit. Uh, you might have to find your sit bones and then grow up nice and tall. Take a nice deep breath in through your nose. Let it out with a big sigh. And settle in. And as the monkey jumps in and wants to play for you all the things you need to do, let the monkey know for one hour this time is just for your breath. We're fully coming present on the mat, letting everything else go just for the moment. And all we have is this one moment, this breath. So take a nice deep breath in. Let it out through the nose. And then return to normal breath. And just notice what's happening. Is it shallow? Are you catching your breath somewhere? Are you catching it on the inhale? If you're catching your breath on the inhale, that's about worry of what's coming. If you're catching it on the exhale, pausing on the exhale, that's worry about what has already happened. So find where can you move through both of those? Just notice if you're catching it. And then move through it. So find that even pace, <clears throat> begin to expand the back breath, filling to the bottom of the lungs, the center, all the way to the top, exhaling from the top to the center, all the way down. No pausing, keep going. I'm gonna grow quiet. We'll do this for couple of minutes. So if you wonder where I'm at, I'm here. Keep breathing. Same with your breath, we're halfway there. Five more long, slow, deep breaths. And last one, all the way through. And just notice, notice what it feels like to just grow quiet. Quiet in the middle of everything around you. Focusing on the breath, allowing the movement to continue to stay with you. You guys can keep breathing, even though I'm talking. So we're gonna move right now all the way to standing. So if you have a blanket on your mat, move it off your blanket, off your mat, and come all the way to the front of your mat into standing. Noticing that your hip, your feet are hip distance apart, 
hands are down, palms facing forward, coming into mountain pose, Tadasan. Okay, find your breath again, take a nice deep inhale, exhale it all the way out, and beginning with sun arms only, inhaling the hands up overhead, exhaling them down, slowing it down. So if you get these crazy arm flopping like you're a bird, slow it down and let it be more about clearing the energetic space around you. Almost as if you're cleaning your aura, cleaning your energetic space around you. And imagine, imagine that as you're moving everything out of the field, that Mother Earth is supporting you through your feet and everything that you pour out of the bottom of your feet, she's willing to take on and give back to you through the crown of your head, healed, forgiven, new, blessed, all of it. Notice whether or not you're coming into your shoulders as your arms are rising up. What about that pelvic floor and lengthening through your crown? Just notice. Keep breathing. No holding up the breath. So on the next inhale, we're going to inhale our hands up overhead. Exhale them down center line coming into our heart space. And then beginning again, inhaling. So creating a nice big circle, opening the hands up, allowing them to come together, drawing them down center line. So now we're inviting all of the gifts that the universe has to offer to us today. It's scooping them in, inviting them into our experience. Inhaling. Exhaling. And if you still have more that you need to let go of, inhale what the universe has to offer. Exhale through the bottom of the feet everything you're willing to let go of. Knowing that as you create this channel and movement of energy, you're also warming the physical body. One more all the way through. This time, as you inhale, circle the arms around. And as you exhale, swan dive forward, beginning to come into half sun salutations, lowering down, inhaling halfway up, exhaling down, inhaling reverse <coughs> swan dive. Take a look and notice if your blocks are nearby. If they're not, you might, in your movement, grab them so they're near you. Inhaling, circling the arms around. Exhaling, swan dive forward. Warming the body slowly. Inhaling, lifting up through the tail. Dropping out of the head. Inhaling, reverse swan dive. Exhaling, down center line. Beginning again. Inhaling, circling the arms around. Exhaling, swan dive forward. Inhaling, halfway up. Finding your rhythm. Finding how the movement follows your breath. Exhaling down, letting go of everything you no longer need. Letting it go through the bottoms of your feet. Inhaling, welcoming in whatever the universe has to offer. Exhaling, swan dive forward. Bowing down to the self. Inhaling halfway up to acknowledge your power, your strength, the lengthening. Exhaling back down. Inhaling reverse one dive. Exhaling the hands down center line. So find your rhythm. We're going to do five of these. I'm going to grow quiet. Let you have your own experience. Here we go. This is one.
So we're going to do one more, circling it around. This is the last one. All the way through. Feel the body begin to warm. Feel the energy begin to move through the body. Let the body warms as we warm the little muscles and the big muscles. Exhaling here. Again, we're going to circle the arms down. We're going to add on, circling the arms around. Exhaling, swan dive forward. This time, rather than going halfway up, bend the knees. Hands come to either side of the feet. Step the left foot straight back into high lunge. Bring your blocks into play here if you have them. Books work really nicely for blocks and sink forward. If you have the space, I really want you to work in high lunge today rather than low lunge. If you don't, please lower the knee and work in low lunge. Knowing at any time that it's okay to go to child pose to take a break. So take a look down, make sure that knee is over the ankle, not in front of it. Begin to draw that left knee forward and the right knee back, feeling the pelvic floor begin to engage, lengthen through the crown of your head. So we're creating a nice long line of energy from the crown of our head all the way back in our foot. Now I'm gonna move everybody else stay there. Lengthening through that crown. Yeah, you have that little bit right there. Perfect, good. So feel those hips begin to work to square off. Feel this leg kind of draw forward. This way back. Yes, you got it. There you go. Drop out of your shoulders. Shoulders love to come into play here. Looking good. Now find your breath. We're going to hold this. We're going to find the power and strength and lunge. Beginning to build the strength in our quads as well as our, our center. Finding your breath. Slowing it down. If you need to invite the counting of the inhale, 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 exhale, exhale, exhale. This is a great place to do it. Nicely done. We're halfway there, stay with your breath. On the next inhale, step that back foot forward. Drop all the way down, halfway up. Exhaling down, inhaling reverse swan dive all the way up. Exhaling those hands down, center line begin again. Inhaling, circling the hands around. Exhaling, swan dive forward. This time as your hands touch the earth, touch the earth first before you go to your blocks and step that right foot back into high lunge. Then you can bring the blocks in. So find your high lunge first. That back leg is straight. It's long. You're working through your heel as if you're pressing your heel to touch the back wall. And then you're squaring off the hips. So you have all these counter actions happening where you're lengthening through the leg, going long in the crown, engaging that pelvic floor, belly button up to the spine, Dropping out of the shoulders. Now, if you feel, I have a little bit of a twist happening here. So I'm going to come up and I'm going to go back down. I can't go back down quite as low because I first need to strengthen my core and open my hip. So it's okay to recognize that. If you find that your blocks are not tall enough, you can turn them to the side. Or even up. Keep breathing. Find your breath. Lengthen through the crown. Sink through that back heel. If you're in low lunge, sink your hip points down to the floor. If you're in high lunge, make sure that that knee is traveling to your little toe. And as the body opens, you might be able to shift how low you can go. Keep breathing. On the next inhale, step that back foot forward. Uh, strong core movement here. Yep, there it is. Exhaling all the way down. <coughs> inhaling halfway up. Exhaling down. Inhaling reverse swan dive. 
Exhaling those hands down center line. Begin again. We're going to inhale, circle around. Remembering child's pose or standing Anjali Mudra is a great break. Let those hands land on either side of your feet. Step that left foot back, coming back into the right leg forward, high lunge. Lower it down if you need to. Square off the hips. This is a balanced pose right now. Bring that left hand in to meet the right foot. So releasing the left hand and right foot, yes. Releasing the right hand, bring it out to the side of the body. Start here. Make sure you have balance here first. Engage that pelvic floor, belly button to the spine, and continue the journey. Open into your twist. There it is. Square off the pelvis. Keep working it. Sometimes it doesn't square. Sometimes it has to work into it. Release that toe. Well, yeah, you can lift that feet. There you go. Sink into that heel. Nicely done. If the body begins cramping, take a break. Take a break. You guys look really great. Everybody at home is doing awesome as well. Keep breathing. Find your breath. We're going to lock in here. We're going to hold this. So it's a play of keeping that pelvic floor engaged. If you're wiggling around, it's likely gone on vacation. If your arm begins to hurt, you can spin it and open it up this way. But keep the twist engaged. Keep breathing. Smile. Inhale through those fingertips. Exhale, coming back down into lunge. <coughs> Take a deep breath. One full lunge. Press back if you're in low lunge. Come back up into high lunge. Step that left foot forward. Exhaling all the way down. Notice and inhale halfway up. Notice the difference of the left side to the right side. Inhale, reverse swan dive. Exhale, those hands down center line. One more time, then we'll take a break. Inhale, circling around. Exhale, swan dive forward. Hands come down on either side of the feet. Step back through that right foot, left foot forward. First, establish your lunge. Are you going to work from high lunge or low lunge? And then engage that pelvic floor. Then bring your block in next to your foot or your book or your hand. And then open that left arm halfway. Does this work for you? Is your balance there? Engage that core. And then finish the journey up. Find your strength. Strength in body, strength in mind. Focus on your breath. If you're wiggling all over the place like I am, your core is on vacation. Mine is. And it's okay to lower down to low lunge halfway through. Find a point and look at it. If you're looking around, you'll wiggle around. This is balance. Find your breath. Halfway there. Child's pose is a great option. Remember, you can drop your arm behind you if you need to. Last one, inhale, exhale, bring that hand down. Rise back up into high lunge. Take a nice deep inhale. Walk that foot forward, coming back into forward fold. Inhaling halfway up. Exhaling down. If you're dizzy, you might have been holding your breath. I think I maybe was. Inhaling those hands up, exhaling down center line, pausing Anjali Mudra. Now, if you need to go to the floor and go into child's pose, this is the place to do that. We're going to stand here for just a minute in Anjali Mudra. Ah, feel that heart rate begin to cool. Notice how stressing the body creates strength. Ah. 
On the next inhale, inhale, drop the hands down around, circle them around. Exhale, swan dive forward. This time, instead of going down, we're going to squat back, sit back, and inhale up into Uktasan, chair. So as you sit back in chair, see how far you can sink down. Where can you go? Where can you find the strength in the quads? Yep, lift through your heart. There you go. Now, just because you're lifting through your heart doesn't mean you look through the chin. Different. <laughs> Tip that chin to the little and then lengthen through the crown. Yeah, that's good. So when you lift through the heart and grow long through, very good, looks good. Grow long through the crown, excellent at home. That's where your strength is. That's where your power is. Imagine a nice long line of energy coming from your tail through the top of your head. On the next inhale, inhale, rise up. Exhale the hands down. And then inhaling them up. Exhaling swan dive forward. Stepping back through the left foot, leading the right foot forward. Block comes in. Inhale, open into a twist. Oh, wow, this twist is easier this time. Two more breaths. Inhale, coming back down. Exhaling, inhaling, stepping forward. Exhaling down, inhaling halfway up. Exhaling down, inhaling, reverse swan dive. Exhaling, hands down, center line. Take a break. We'll have two breaths here just to catch our breath. Again, inhaling, circling the hands down and around. Exhaling, swan dive forward. Bringing those hands up, sitting back in the chair. Exhaling back, right there it is. Uktasan. Now remember, tip the chin slightly, lengthen long through the crown, engage that belly button, drop out of the shoulders. Sit back. Find your breath. Inhaling, rising up, swan dive forward. Stepping back through that right foot, high lunge, bring that right hand in. Inhaling, open up, three breaths. Exhaling down, stepping that right foot forward, dropping down. Inhaling halfway up. Exhaling down, inhaling reverse swan dive. Exhaling those hands down, center line. Standing on delay mudra, take a break. Feel the power, feel the heat. Feel the connection to the earth. Notice how your body's moving more easily into each movement. Here we go, inhaling, dropping those hands down. Exhaling, swan dive forward, sit back. Hands up, uktasan. Inhaling, rising up. Exhaling, swan dive forward. Inhaling, stepping back into high lunge, right foot forward. Hand in. Inhaling, opening up into twist. Exhaling down, inhaling, stepping forward, exhaling down, inhaling, halfway up, exhaling down, inhaling, reverse swan dive, exhaling, the hands down, center line, beginning again, inhaling, circling them around. Exhaling, swan dive forward. Make sure your feet are hip distance apart. Inhaling up into Uttasana. Sit back. Inhaling up. Swan dive forward, stepping back. Left foot remains forward. 
hand comes next to that left foot. Inhaling open into twist. Exhaling down. Inhaling, stepping forward. Exhaling down. Inhaling halfway up. Exhaling down. Inhaling reverse swan dive. Exhaling hands down center line. Take a break. So that's going to be our flow today. I feel like we need to add some lateral movement in there. So that will come later. We're going to do three rounds of that. Okay, so we're going to follow the breath. I'll keep it at a nice, steady, slow pace. If you find that you're you find that you're tired, take a break. Go to standing Anjali Mudra or Child's Pose. But we're going to go through three times each side. So here we go. Inhaling, dropping the hands down, circling them around. Exhaling, swan dive forward. Inhaling up into Uttasana. Sit back. Inhaling up, exhaling, swan dive forward. Inhaling, stepping back into high lunge, bring that block in. Inhaling, open into twist. Exhaling down, inhaling, stepping forward. Exhaling down, inhaling halfway up. Exhaling down, inhaling, reverse swan dive. Exhaling, hands down, center line. Beginning again. Inhaling. Exhaling, swan dive. <clears throat> inhaling, up into Uttasana. Exhaling, standing up. Inhaling, exhaling, swan dive. Sorry, I got off a little bit. Inhaling, stepping that right foot back, left foot stays forward. Inhaling, opening into twist. Exhaling down. Inhaling, stepping forward. Exhaling down, inhaling halfway up. Exhaling down, inhaling reverse swan dive. Exhaling, hands to the heart. Beginning again, you can pause there if you want. Exhaling, swan dive. Inhaling, lifting up into Uttasana. Exhaling, sitting back. Inhaling, up. Exhaling, swan dive forward. Inhaling, stepping that left foot back, right foot stays forward. Inhaling, opening into twist. Exhaling down. Inhaling, stepping that foot forward. Exhaling down. Inhaling, halfway up. Exhaling down. Inhaling, reverse swan dive. Exhaling the hands down, center line. Beginning again. Inhaling, circling around. Exhaling, swan dive forward. Inhaling up. Uttasan. Exhaling, sit back. Inhaling up, exhaling swan dive, stepping back through the right foot, left foot stays forward. Inhaling, opening up. Exhaling down. Inhaling, stepping forward. Exhaling down. Inhaling halfway up. Exhaling down. Inhaling, reverse swan dive. Hands to Anjali Mudra, take a break if you need one. Last round, inhaling, circling around. Exhaling, swan dive forward. Inhaling, up, Uttasana, exhaling, sitting back. Inhaling, up, exhaling, swan dive. Hands either side of the feet, step back that left foot. Open up into twist. Exhaling down. Inhaling, stepping forward. Exhaling down, inhaling halfway up. Exhaling down, inhaling, reverse swan dive. Exhaling, hands down, center line, beginning again. Last round, inhaling. Exhaling. 
Inhaling, Uktasana. Exhaling, sitting back. Inhaling, powering up. Exhaling, folding forward, stepping back, right foot. Hand comes in. Inhaling, open. Exhaling, down. Inhaling, stepping forward. Exhaling, down. Inhaling, halfway up. Exhaling, down. Inhaling, reverse swan dive. Exhaling, hands to your heart. Take a break. You did it. Awesome. Feel the heart rate pounding. Now, if you're super hot, you can roll your tongue or blow like a candle. Inhaling and exhaling through the mouth. So it would look like this. Or it looks like this. If you cannot roll your tongue. That's a cooling breath, nicely done. On the next inhale, we're gonna drop our hands down, circling them around. Exhale, swan dive forward, hands land on either side of your feet. Step that left foot back into high lunge. Don't go to low lunge because we're not gonna be here very long. Step that back foot in a half a step and drop that heel down. Sink forward into that knee and then spin open into warrior two, okay? Trust me that I can talk you through this if your back is to me. We're going to slide across the body. Let your elbow come to your knee and bring that left hand up and all the way over. Nice and long. Open that knee. Engage that pelvic floor. Feel that tailbone slide down and point at the floor. There you go. Good job. Breathing into it. Nowhere to go. Letting this lateral opener open all the way from the outside edge of your foot, up the side of your leg, up the side of your body. Feel those ribs open. Reach for that front wall, really reach for it. Nicely done. Inhale, exhale, complete the circle all the way back down into high lunge. Lunge it out. Inhale, step forward. Exhale down, inhale, halfway up. Exhale down, inhale, reverse swan dive. We're gonna just slow it down a little bit. Exhale those hands down center line. Take a minute here. Notice the difference of the right side of the body to the left. How does that under between the armpit and the hip feel? Left side to right side. Like I feel super long underneath my left side. Feel how the feet are connecting in the earth. Where are you holding on where you can let go? Just notice. Nicely done. Inhaling, drop those hands down, circle them around. Exhale, swan dive forward. Step that right foot back, staying in high lunge. We're not gonna be there very long. We're gonna drop that foot down and spin yourself back open. Okay, slide across the body. Elbow meets the leg, bring that arm all the way up and over. Slight twist so that you're spinning that heart open to meet the, the sky. Find the lateral movement here. Find the energy from the outside edge of that back foot all the way to your fingertips. Breathing into it. Inhale through those fingertips, reach it a little further, and then find your way back down to the blocks, stepping your right foot forward to meet the left one. That's a hard movement for me, I don't really love. Inhaling halfway up, exhaling down, inhaling reverse swan dive. 
Exhaling those hands down center line. Find your pause. Good movement today. Take a moment. Nice, deep, long, slow breaths. Notice where you're holding. I'm <coughs> adjusting that because I'm holding in my tail. So what can I let go in my hips if I engage my core? Let your power come from your center. On the next inhale, drop those hands down, circle them around, all the way around. Exhale, swan dive forward. Move those blocks out of the way. I want the hands to connect to the earth. Step all the way back into downward facing dog. One dog today. Lower those knees down, come into tabletop. And then come all the way down so that your elbows are underneath your shoulders, okay? So fingers are spread wide. I want the weight of your body to be on your forearms and your hands, a little bit on your elbows. We're gonna lengthen through the left leg, lengthen through the right leg and come into a plank right here. So it's really important that that belly button's coming up to the spine and that, so you're gonna want to lift up through the tail, but the trick is to flatten the body out. So I'm gonna take a hold of you here. We're gonna move forward on your arms. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Breathing right there. So do it for as long as you can, and then you can go back down, okay? Keep going. If your tail's up, bring it down. This is deep core work. Here I come, right here. Belly button up, come over your shoulders. Slide down through that elbow. Well, that pubic bone come up. Thank you for the pelvic pain. There you go, good job. Two more breaths, you're doing great. And let yourself slowly lower to the ground because what you wanna do is flop. But see if you can just slowly lower down onto your so I'm gonna do this real quick. You guys can take a look. Tell me if my bottom's down. Okay, do I need to lower it? Yes. There, is my even? So it should look like this, okay? And the power comes from growing long in your crown and sliding your tail down and then lowering straight down, release those feet, rock them side to side. So it's easy for me to teach it in my head, I think I'm doing it, but I don't actually know if I am. <laughs> so it's okay to tell me, and that get your finger down. So rock those legs side to side. And then we're gonna press back from the child's pose. All the way back, the welcome child's pose. And then we're gonna slide back forward. Remember, your shoulders need to be right over your elbows. You don't wanna be behind them. And then lift up into plank. Let's do three breaths here. Give it your full power. Beautiful, beautiful planks. And exhale, lower down. Keep those um, arms out in front of you. Release those legs. Rock them side to side. If your low back starts hurting, you need to engage that core a little bit stronger, okay? So we're working on building the core. So lengthen through the left foot, through the right foot. Engage that pelvic floor. So when I suggest to engage the pelvic floor, it's almost like you're gonna tip your pubic bone up and touch your belly button so that it takes that anterior tilt out of your body. And then we're gonna rise up into Sphinx. This is gonna be our back bends today. Grow long in the crown, drop out of the shoulders. It's almost like you're turtling out of your shell. Bring that head out of your shell. Beautiful Sphinx. Now this might be where your back bend work is today. Please make note and honor that. I want you to honor your body. You're very, very warm right now, so it's very important to make sure that that pelvic floor, that belly button is lifting 
that you're sliding out of that anterior tilt, so you're tipping your pubic bone forward into the floor. Feel the power in your core. Then feel the lift in your head. And exhale, lower down. So Sphinx might be your posture today. We're gonna take a quick break here, and then we're gonna rise up and do Cobra. So if Sphinx is your posture, stay there. If you have the space to do so, bring your hands back, put them underneath your shoulders. Make sure your elbows are in close to the body. Lengthen through the crown, tip through that tailbone. Take all of that tip out of the butt. And inhale, lifting up into Cobra. So very important that your core is engaged. Touch that floor with your pubic bone. Really press into the floor. There you go. Good job. Hey, Queen, release your toes, hon. There you go. So your feet should be long behind you, not the toes up and working. Oh, hello. Do I know how to do the? There we go. And on the next inhale, take a deep breath and exhale all the way back and fold over your knees so that you're rounding the back. Okay, you may not sink as low into child's pose. So fold over the knees. Nicely done. Inhaling, coming right back up to tabletop. We're done with that craziness. Hands underneath your shoulders. Bring those eyes with the elbows to face each other. Lengthen through your crown. Make sure your knees are under your hips. So tabletop. Same thing in tabletop where you bring that pubic bone like you're going to touch your belly button with it. And really draw that belly button up. Nicely done. We're going to inhale, drop down into cow. Exhaling up into cow. Inhaling down into cow. Exhaling up into cat. Inhaling down. And last one, exhaling up into cat. And then reestablish that tabletop, almost as if you're going to be a park bench for somebody that if somebody came to sit on you, you could support them. That's how strong your core is. Nicely done. Drop out of those shoulders, lengthen through the crown. Lots of power in tabletop. So on the next inhale, we're going to find our way to lying on your back. And as you arrive on your back, take note that the body is wanting anything else. We have one, two more postures. We're going to do a twist and we're going to do shavasana. But sometimes as you come onto the floor, you find that the body wants something else. Maybe it needs, uh, you know, one more downward facing dog. Just notice. And as you arrive on your back, give yourself a big hug. Bring those knees into your chest. Really thank your body for showing up today. Breathe into it. And then let those feet land on either side of the mat. So they're wider than hip distance. Open those arms into a T position. If there's anything in the way, just move it out of the way. Take a nice deep breath in, roll that body in so that you feel that floor, that floor come up to meet the back or the back press down to meet the floor. Keep breathing. Just because you're holding in the core doesn't mean that the breath stops. Now, take a second and notice if the glutes are soft. Are they engaged or are they soft? If they're engaged, see if you can let go of them and just let the core hold this position of the floor against the back, back against the floor. And this is the sensation of the pelvic floor deeply engaged. And take a nice deep breath in, exhale, let the knees travel all the way to the left. Okay, both knees to the left. 
So what we're really doing here, there's a little bit of twist here, but we're catching the IT band. And if this is enough of a posture for you, stay here. But if you want to deepen it, you can lift your left foot up and put it on top of the right knee. And that kind of invites that outside leg to drop down a little bit more. Got to keep the core engaged because if you let go of the core, then the pelvis kind of comes out of it. And then drop your head away. Away from your knees. Breathing into it. Inhaling, bringing your head back to center, releasing that foot off your knee if you're there. And then engage that core, bring it back to center. And if you've come off the center line, you can reestablish that, but make sure that you've kept the core engaged and that you're still working that back to the floor. Find your breath. Notice how you can breathe and keep the core engaged possible to do that. And on the next inhale, begin to initiate the movement and exhale, drop those knees to the other side, all the way to the right. You can deepen it if you need to. Putting that right foot on top of the left knee. Nicely done, releasing that foot, releasing the head. Inhaling, bringing those knees back to center. And then exhaling, lengthening through that right leg. Lengthening through the left leg, bringing the hands up overhead, point the toes, point the fingers, take a nice deep inhale. Inhale, 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 let it out with a big sigh. <sighs> And ask yourself, oh great wise self, do I need anything else? So as we begin to prepare for Shavasana, find yourself coming into lengthening through the right leg. Lengthening through the left leg could work today. Finding yourself coming all the way in to Shavasana. Nowhere to go. Nothing to do.
So as you begin to invite yourself back, I'm going to read something that Carrie wrote that I find really profound. The answers are in the flames, searching for fuel to keep alive. No two flames are the same, just as we are, each individuals, each on our own journey. We find our fuel that keeps us burning, our desires, wants, and needs. When we lose sight of the fuel line, our lives dampen down, and we fade slowly, extinguishing our body and being. So keep the fire burning inside, changing and finding the fuel that works best. Be the master of yourself. Be who you are. So as you wiggle your fingers and toes and come back to now, rolling to the side, using your arm as a pillow. Pressing up, coming back to easy pose. Finding your hands at your heart. We'll take one nice deep breath in and exhale. And then we'll have one ohm. So inhale in. Inhale to ohm. Namaste.